All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Today, I am back in Tableau, Tableau Public specifically, and this is a Tableau quick tip. So I recently had a 90-minute one-on-one data office hour session with someone who contacted me via anthonysmoke.com asking for help with three different data issues and totals for stacked area charts was one of the issues I helped uh, solve for her. So reach out to me on anthonysmoke.com if you're struggling with a data issue and need an experienced data pro to talk through the issue and work towards solving your problem. So anyway, let me show you what I'm going to show you. I've got a stacked area chart and then I've got totals at the top. And as far as I know, I hadn't seen a solution out there that shows you how to do this. So, you know, my video may, may be the first, even though I think it's a, a fairly simple solution. And so if you look at the sales here, um, this number here, this is a dashboard. So I can get that sum of sales, but this is a dashboard, right? So, you know, this solution requires, and I'm gonna come out of, uh, of here, this is going to require some kind of manual uh, placing of the totals here. So, you know, this will be good for if you have to export this out to PowerPoint for a one time. But, you know, I wouldn't put this into production. But these totals here will update as you add more information uh, by the year. So let me show you how we put this together. Okay, so I'm using Sample Superstore data set. Uh, hopefully you know where to get that. It's a default uh, data set within uh, Tableau. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the order date, if I can find it. Let's take the order date and bring that up to columns. And I wanna make sure that this is continuous, right? And I'm gonna drag the sum of sales two rows and then I'm going to take a segment take the segment column here put that on color and we'll go to show me and change this to an area chart stacked area chart right fairly simple everyone should know how to do this we can take the sum of sales and throw that on the label and that will give us the sum of sales at our different intervals for each segment uh, for each year. Fairly straightforward. So how do we get those totals? So what we'll do is I'm gonna hit control here and drag this over and we're gonna make a copy of our original area chart. Now on the second marks chart or marks area here, I'm gonna remove the segment. Right, so you can see how this is coming together, right? Now on the label, let's just uh, play around with the label here. In the font, let's go, let's go bold and let's make this 12. And you'll see that this is a gray here. And I'm gonna go into color and then just change that opacity, take it all the way down, right? So how do we bring these two together? We're gonna go up to the second pill here, and this is going to be dual axis. So we've got some overlap here, and that can be easily remedied. So on the second area in the label, I'm going to go to the alignment here and let's go top center. And you see how that makes it a little bit easier to read here. I'm just gonna hide this, uh, get rid of that right there. Makes it a little bit easier to read. And so as I showed you before, this is the, this is the tip right here. I mean, this is fairly straightforward, but as I've shown you on the dashboard, if you want, I'll show you the formulas that you need in order to uh, calculate the values of the different segments uh, across the whole data set here. So again, this is a dashboard. You can look at my item hierarchy. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of putting the uh, first 
uh, container on the dashboard, making it floating, as you can see here, making it floating, put, putting it in the 1-1 one, one XY position, and then making the size, you know, whatever you want your uh, chart size to be, 1,800. And within that large floating dashboard, I'm sorry, container, I'll put various other containers. I got a container here. Then I put the stack chart in the horizontal. Then I have a vertical here. And then I have to strategically place blanks in here, as you can see. Uh, blanks along with my different uh, sheets in order to make them align. Like I say, this isn't the best way for repeatable, but it looks good for a one-time um, chart if you have to throw it in a PowerPoint or something like that. So let me show you how I make the different segments. Okay, so I have three different uh, worksheets, corporate, consumer, home office, one for each of my segments. And I created this calculated field, some corporate only uh, fixed. So if I take a look at that, let's edit this. It's a fixed LOD, fairly straightforward. So fixed at the segment level, sum, if the segment is equal to corporate, you know, then the sales, so you're gonna sum sales if the segment is corporate. Otherwise, you're gonna have a zero end, right? So this is the syntax for our fixed LOD. So I just repeated that for each of the segments, consumer and home office, just changing up what the segment would be in the fixed LOD. And so you just drag that onto the text. And if we take a look at the text, I just change the, uh, the color here to match the chart. And then, you know, I've got the, um, the actual field in here. So just rinse and repeat that three times and you can throw that on a dashboard and kind of align it like I've shown you with the blank pieces before. So another quick tip, just kind of optionally, if we go back to our stacked, uh, stacked chart build here, or stacked area chart totals, if you wanna make your second marks Instead of an area, if you want to make that a line, you can make that a line. If you go into color here and turn this all the way up, all the way up, shout out to Fat Joe, uh, you can have this thick line there if you want to do something like that. If you want to be fancy, you can kind of have this, uh, this thick line here by making this a line. So you can keep an area or make it a line. And again, um, you know, this is what the finished product looks like. I'll bring it back to the, uh, the dashboard. So there you go. Uh, you learn how to use a dual axis to place totals on your stack area chart. Like I said before, I hadn't seen this out here. You can Google search it. If you do find another video out there that has this, I think this was the, uh, the first one because I didn't see anything, uh, that talked about how to add totals to your stack area chart. So in any event, this has been Anthony Smoke. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.